everybody, it's Catherine Just and it's a Q&A Thursday and today I have a question from someone who asked me how in the world do I balance my full-time job and being a stay-at-home mom? It's a great question. I know a lot of you are struggling with trying to figure the same thing out and believe me, I'm still learning too. And the tips that I have today about that are one, the most important thing that someone told me is to get more help than you think you deserve. Did you hear that? Are you gonna listen? Let me say it again. Get more help than you think you deserve. I didn't make that up. My friend Andrea Shear from Superhero Journal told me that when I, when I talked with her. She has two children and a business and I asked her advice and that's what she told me so it took me a while to actually step into that frame of mind that I actually deserved that help and once I asked for it my whole world opened up I'm able to carve out chunks of time just for myself during the week where I know that I can get certain work tasks done I know that I can get certain tasks done just for myself and I have time to spend with my son without feeling like I'm sacrificing business time and vice versa so that helped me a lot. I have somebody here three days a week right now, sometimes even more depending. And I also have uh, an assistant that helps me virtually to manage the business tasks that I can't always get to because I am a mom too. So it's really paying attention to what things I can delegate. And once I recognize that delegation is a good thing and that I can actually get, let go of some of the control of my business um, and also not be the only one taking care of Max, uh, it really gives me a sense of peace inside. I feel more rejuvenated. I have more time. I have more of a positive outlook and I don't feel as overwhelmed and tired and crabby. Uh, I'm actually very tired today because Max was up from 2 in the morning until 6 in the morning having a little party. Woohoo! So that means we're all up too. And I still have to get all the things done for my business that are on the list regardless of whether I was able to sleep or not. So how do I maintain consistency? Well, sometimes I don't. Sometimes I just have to give myself permission to have a little flexibility because there's another human that isn't on the same schedule and doesn't have the same idea of consistency or accountability that I do with the tasks on my list. So I do need to give myself a little bit of wiggle room with certain things when that happens, when it arises where I'm just a little bit more tired, I need to delegate a little bit more. Um, I do take naps in the afternoon. When Max naps, I take a nap most days or I use that time to just chill out. I don't try to use it to work, work, work because I burn out easily. So I really take um, his nap time as an opportunity for me to rest as well and fill up my cup again for the next round when he's up and I still have work things to do. So that might seem counterintuitive. You would think that when Max is napping, I should work, 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 but I actually, most of the time do the opposite. I either nap with him or I take it easy. So you can take that um, at, in mind as well when you're trying to figure out a good schedule for you. And the other thing for me is I do take other e-courses and I do try to stay in touch with my community as much as I can. And one of those benefits of that is that I find other people that are on the same path as I am. And I found someone through an e-course I took who I now am consistently emailing every morning with my action list for the day. So it's somebody in business, we're both photographers and we both have, we're both around the same stage in our businesses but we have a different focus with our business so we're not competing against each other or watching over our shoulders or anything like that. We really support each other and we want to see the other person really succeed so every morning I write down three to five, sometimes eight, sometimes more but I try to keep it as simple as I can of tasks that I need accountability around and she does the same for me so we're checking in all the time and I find that because I work alone and I'm the boss sometimes I'm a good boss but sometimes I'm not a great employee <laughs> I can get really sidetracked with the shiny things so having an accountability partner getting more help than I think I deserve giving my myself a little bit of flexibility and permission to have downtime and a little bit of permission to have some wiggle room with my schedule helps me a lot. So I hope that's helpful for you in your endeavors. I really uh, 
I just celebrate all the women out there who have children and are working from home and building up their businesses. It's a lot to juggle and it's also it, it, it's exciting and inspiring and when I see you do it, it encourages me to keep going too. So I am going to wrap this up and I hope to hear from you on ways that what has been helpful to you I'd love to hear as well. So why don't you leave a comment below and let me know what has been helpful for you while you're trying to manage and balance everything. How do you find time to do your business and take care of your children and feel rejuvenated and rested and taken care of for yourself? Leave those comments below. I look forward to reading them. And sign up for my newsletter if you're interested in more tips and more insight on events that are coming up. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.